Hi everyone, Sherry here, and today I'm going to be making a card for the Newton's Nook Inky Paws Challenge. And the stamp set that I'm using is Newton's Happy Mail. I'm going to be stamping this on some Arches Cold Press watercolor paper. So I'm going to use my Mini Misty. Since the paper has quite a bit of texture to it, I find that using the Misty will give me a better impression and I can stamp it multiple times if needed. So I'm going to get that into position and then I'm going to be using the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to do my stamping. So you can see here I did not get a good impression so I can just ink it up and go over it one more time. And now I'm going to be using my Caran d'Ache Super Color watercolor pencils and I'm just going to scribble in color. Here obviously I'm going to do the uh, mailbox post in some browns and we'll use a couple of greens for the grassy area and some blues for the mailbox a little bit of light gray for the envelopes just to give a little shadow and then I will end up doing the postage stamps in red as well as the flag in red and then I'm going to use three different gray colors to color my little Newton. I am partial to Siamese so I am going to color him as if he were a blue point Siamese. I'm going to put my darkest gray obviously where his facial features would be the darkest and then I'm coming in with a um, medium gray and then I will graduate out to a light gray. Color the inside of the ears pink and I put a little bit of light gray over the ears as well just to kind of tone that pink down. And then I'm coming in with a light blue green to color in the mailbox and then I will come in with a darker one just to um, pencil in where I think the shadows should be. And now I'm coming in with some water. I'm using a, a silver brush, number six round and I'll just go through and wet all of the watercolor pencil areas and spread out that color. And I will try to move the pigment around so that um, I leave some lighter areas and darker areas, especially here on the mailbox. I am not by any means an artist and sometimes I struggle with getting my shadow areas and or making certain objects look rounded. Um, so with the mailbox I did have to work on it a little bit off camera just to give it a, a little bit more color. So you can see here I finished the coloring and now I'm taking the coordinating die and I am going to take that over to my Big Shot and cut him out. And I am also going to use my black glaze pen just to brighten up his nose a little bit and to darken up his eyes. I find that these particular watercolor pencils, um, they dull down, if you will, the... Um, the actual black ink. It's like they're a little chalky or something. So anyway, darken those up. And here I have a standard four and a quarter by five and a half top fold card base. And I just picked some random papers from my uh, pattern paper stash. 
and I am going to adhere these to my card base. This one I did not trim. I just left it six inches and I'll just go in with my scissors and trim off that red diagonal stripe piece. I used the Simon Says Stamp Simple Banner Dies to cut out two banners and I tried to pick papers that pretty much had the colors of um, the pencils that I used to color Newton. So I'm going to get those stuck down and then I'm going to trim off that longer red piece. I glued my Newton to a piece of Nina Solar White, which I trimmed down, rounded off the corners, and inked up the edges. I don't even know why I cut him out to begin with. But anyway, there are coordinating dies you can cut him out. And I used some mowed lawn and inked around the edges. Does anybody even do that anymore? Um, I happen to like it, so I did it. And it just helped bring in... Um, a little bit of the green color that was in the grass underneath the mailbox as well as the green that is in the pattern paper with the little flowers. I'm using some scotch foam tape to put on the back of my Newton just to pop him up off the page a little bit. And I'm going to get him positioned where I want him to stay and then I'm going to look at it from the front perspective make sure I have it straight and then I will push it down I just happened to have some Baker's Twine from Lawn Fawn laying on my desk uh, this comes with um, their packages when you purchase a stamp from them you usually get um, this colorful trim here so I'm going to wrap it around the top I'm going to tie a bow and trim the tails and um, get it adjusted the way I like it. Maybe trim those just a little bit more. And this is going to be it for today. Thanks again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.